you get that reflected, you're going to have a bad time. Exactly. Well, both of these players, I think, are, are folks that I think are, definitely have a, a good shot at making a great run through losers and coming back to win this tournament. I see a Bayonetta on the screen. It's going to be Bayonetta versus Sheik. That's Jason's Bayonetta versus Benji Sheik. Now, Jason, we've seen generally repping the Fox, but I, I can see why he's picking a character like Bayonetta, even though Bayonetta definitely doesn't have the same great approach options that Fox has. Yeah, but Bayonetta Pax is an amazing arsenal of punishments. I mean, she's not fast like Fox, but once she hits you, she feels like it because she just keeps she keeps going. The punish game is insane. Also, her cross-up game, not the worst in the world. We know Jason loves his cross-ups with those down airs. This is true. This is true. Well, right now it just feels like he's putting on the uh, putting in some work on Denti. Even though we haven't seen too many witch times, look at the damage. 93 to 66. I mean, we don't need to see very many witch times. You just need one solid upbeat into combo moves. That witch time is just going to be able to seal a kill. That's assuming he needs it if he doesn't connect with like a forward throw or a hundred something around the edge. Let's say he doesn't connect with, a, I don't know, down air, which is a ridiculously strong move. I don't know if you've seen the stats on that move, but that has a 80 base knockback and 140 knockback growth. It is nuts. It's gross. It's just gross. But Seems like Jason is actually having a lot of trouble landing some of these KOs. Here we're seeing, I was saying earlier that this might be super relevant, that Bayonetta has a frame one air dodge. No other character in the game has a frame one air dodge. Usually starting around frame three, I believe, after more recent uh, nerfs to the dodging systems in this game. Bayonetta's air dodge comes out frame one, and you'll know when it happens then, frames one through four, if she gets that bat within. That might make some of the 50-50s coming out of these characters a lot less potent if you can just bat within every time Benti tries to go for an up air. We talk about this, but I also have to talk about Four the fact throw. that... Ooh, that's that's the kill. Hit. I feel like Bayonetta has one of the best pummels in the game. She just keeps hitting you for damage. But here's the thing. As there you can see, what which time... People, especially on Twitter, going nuts about witch time and all of its applications. But what beats witch time? The grabs. And this is why I think Sheik, especially at the end game, has such a strong edge on Bayonetta. Because all Sheik's look for are those that grabs. That forward throw bouncing fish, which is a true combo, was just escaped <laughs> because of Bat Within. My mind is being blown. Why does this character have a frame one air dodge? This is going to be so relevant. Is is this some chic salt that's coming out from Name? I'm just so confused. <laughs> what other true combos aren't true because she's gonna have a frame one air dodge? Well, uh, I, I was gonna say that she was winning, oh but my Jason, goodness. like we said, one of those openings, and all of a sudden this match just got incredibly interesting. But this is again the point where Jason may start to struggle. That he's gonna be looking for lots of grabs, and Bayonetta definitely does not have the best defensive options. Bayonetta does have an up B out of shield that comes out frame four and hits both sides. Why does that work? <laughs> hits both sides, able to connect in the kills. I mean, one up B out of Jason could be the stock. But he can't if sidestep it, though, with Bayonetta. Not so good. And ooh, calling out that air Finally dodge. Finally catching the air dodge. There were so many bad withins that made me want to lose my mind because why does that work? Why is that frame one? Okay. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to contain my confusion for a moment to say those just really good weight and actually punishing the air dodge there by Denti. Because he had been he had been calling those 50-50s really solidly, but he figured out it wasn't working because, hey, this character has some weird different mechanics. How do I beat that? I'll just wait a little bit longer. And this is something that we've seen from Denti is despite the fact that he's won the first game, he seems to consistently switch to Luigi for game number two. And... If we recall the match that he had against Cosmic Cosmos, this cost him the set. I mean, I feel like it's just a, let me see how well I'm doing with Sheik, my main. And if it goes well, maybe I'll stay or maybe I'll switch depending on how, what habits I pick up on the opponent. If I think that I can use Luigi's insane throw combos against, I mean, why not? It's going to be really good for the early game, but thinking about the late game, how Luigi really has to go at times for like a pretty hard read to take the stock. I think that Wish Time is going to be playing a much bigger role. That is very true. Jason did not actually connect a single Wish Time. I'm not sure if I saw him go for one last game. But this game, against a character like Luigi who kind of has to throw moves out to get those kills sometimes, 
Forward throw? Not going to be the kill right now, but is going to get a lot of offstage, you know, presence. With Luigi being the character he is, sometimes you can go, oh, oh my god! What? So that Bayonetta just got edge guarded by Luigi. That's interesting. Uh, moving on. <laughs> that was goofy. That okay. was just goofy, man. Jason scooping up Denty there and then getting the up throw up there. 21% on the Bayonetta, 0% on Luigi. But that's perfect for Luigi because he'll just rack up those. Oh my goodness. That was terrifying. Bayonetta is terrifying. You're scared say, to play this character, aren't you? I am terrified of this character. Previously, I wasn't so terrified. And then I saw Jason versus Denti, and I don't understand why a bat within is a thing. And also down smash the spikes. This character's terrifying, JB. <laughs> oh, man. She's doing her thing. Look at her. She just, really is just doing her thing right now. Just doing her thing. Jason trying to close the gap, and Denti called it out. Think of that wall of jabs there, but something that Jason might be able to do now that he's seen that is maybe just run up and potentially run up at just witch time if the if Dent gets too complacent with the jabs. That is true. He could also challenge fireballs with witch time if he gets close enough to Denty. Oh, he went for the pivot grab there. Had see every time. I don't think Jason went for a single witch time there. Which it's I feel. Like well, he, he, I think he, I saw him go for maybe a couple. Mm -hmm. uh, connected. But, but it, it was, I felt at the wrong time. It was like when when he was at 0%, at such a low percentage, where we know that Dentsy, more likely than not, is going to be going for these grabs. I feel like a lot of the times he expected Dentsy to choose a defensive option when being pressured, but he could have used an offensive witch time to call Dentsy trying to escape something and then furthered the combo. Mm -hmm. Didn't end up happening, though. Ended up letting Dentsy take that 2-0, despite they ended up being... Very terrifying. <laughs> I was actually terrified. 